And we're back with another crazy session, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. If you're brand new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button. It's super, super important to help us grow this awesome channel. Now, of course, we have absolute legends here. A retired legend, of course. We're going to start with first. Mm -hmm. uh, Dialer, thank you so much for joining us, man. And, uh, mate, congratulations on a hell of a streaming career for heroes um it's been fantastic to watch some of your incredible theory crafting over the years mate and we we're gonna miss you playing the game brother but how you feeling Aww. good no no i'm feeling feeling really good like it was weird i went through all the uh was it is it 12 stages of acceptance or depression or whatever it is but whatever Wait, however 12? Many steps... i thought it was like five <laughs> okay if it's five Man, i went through missing all five steps? <laughs> I think it's five yeah. for grief okay the, yeah, the grief there cycle is. is five yeah so i went through all five of those in like the first day it was like the minute that i said in guild that i was leaving i was like oh shit did i really say that out loud but uh -oh. uh, and then as soon as i handed off the account i was just like what did I just do? And then it was just like, I went through a day of like missing it. And then it was the next day after that, I was like, fuck it. Yeah. Free time. Oh, sorry. It's free time. You know, just, I live my life. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's good. It's uh, it's turned into a good thing. So, but uh, now I, uh, now I got a, a lot more free time to do. Now my wife wants me to do chores around the house. Now I'm regretting my decision. <laughs> You know, you, there's an open spot in my guild if you want to come back. Just, you know, just. <laughs> oh, look at active live poaching, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Absolute poacher. Have a look at him. He's a safari hunter. The only thing missing is I'm not poaching anybody. Suit. He doesn't have a he guild. He's dodgy quit. as hell, straight well, up. I, but, I don't uh, have my account anymore, Grid. I gave it up. I gave it away. I gave it away as a Christmas gift. So, <laughs> That's well, free let's, and clear. Let, let's, let's just quickly talk about the trigger point. Can we quickly talk about yeah. that? Because. It's a big thing because you know, we play this game on a daily basis, right? It's kind, it's part of our lifestyle. Let's be honest. That's the way that we that we accept this. It's you take some time out of every day. We play it. We do our dailies. We do our guild events. Whatever it is, we play it day in day out. What was the trigger point that you just said? You know what? Like, why after all this time of playing this game? Because you've been playing for like five years, haven't you? Like since the start, pretty well. Like most of us, or are you a couple of years in? Where, where were you? No, in? no. I, I started February 2016, so I'm okay. literally two months or three months away from day one. Got it. So okay. Okay. Pretty much so, day one player. So basically, from a day one player playing so long, finally, like why? Why now? That's the important thing to me. I'm curious <laughs> about because what's the trigger point where you said, you know what? Enough's enough. Like, this is this is it. I'm I'm curious. I need to know. Uh, okay, so so I it, it had already been like a thing in my head for like the past month mm -hmm. before I made the decision because it was just the whole game was just taking way too much time, like hours per day in game. Uh, I looked at the little app that tracks your your time in app, and I was spending about three and three quarter hours per day in the game, and then there's your outside of the game, looking at spreadsheets, thinking about things to do thinking about uh youtube videos thinking about twitch videos thinking about what you can do to improve your live streams yeah yeah so the total time already on my day it was it was huge and i work uh 11 to 12 hours a day in my day job so like at the end of the day i i had i was i had zero time to my family or to my or to myself so uh, i was already feeling it for about a month before i made the decision and then, uh, not gonna lie, the moment that was like the 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 that was the straw that broke the camel's back was when uh, when a message came up in Discord and saying, "Get ready for mod compliance. These are the changes we're gonna make." And I was like, "Oh god damn!" It. <laughs> <sighs> I was like, and then I was like, and then I was like, "Okay, yeah, no, that's it. I'm done." Because so, like Conquest so had just finished, you know, that one was a grind. I was spending an hour a day in Conquest, just. I was like following this, like how to, what to do every day, do this team, this team, this team, this team, this team, this team blah, 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 blah. And, uh, and then I saw, I think at that time I saw the other characters were coming up. I, I'm like, it's like, I don't want to, I see what they're doing. This is the big money push for the end of the month or for the quarter. It's it. I'm done. I'm out. Screw it. Yeah. So, but the, I, I will going to say just for anybody watching that the, the straw that broke the camel's back was mod compliance. <laughs> okay. So, so, so <laughs> can I just quickly ask then, because Tassinix, if I'm correct, um, you are head of mod <laughs> compliance, are you not? In Shadowlands in his guild, yes? Yes. Okay, so yes. it's all Tassinix's <laughs> fault. That's what it so comes down <laughs> to. Let's be clear, people. If you've got a problem with Dala not doing stuff anymore, bloody blame Tassinix, that absolute joker stuffed it for everyone. That's what Damn. we're that's what Damn. we're talking about right now. Dude, you are a that's Damn. what happens. Just... It does feel pretty direct, right? This there, is fifty <laughs> shades of bull. It's a little on that's the nose. That's what it is. 
his right students his phone. Bonk. Bloody Dude, you're ridiculous. Not just, you're not just throwing him under the bus. <laughs> you, like, put him in, like, super glue down there, like wet cement. You just, like, yep. he is stuck under there. Uh, like, I can't help myself. It had to be done. I love my boy Tess. I'm going to give him crap. I wouldn't have any other way. Man, dude, you threw him 100% <laughs> under that bus. All wheels of that bus. Tassinex is just holding him down. Like, you just you just put that. Oh, my goodness. He's well, it's funny, Tass. Remember and that it's... time you were like that? You messaged me. You're like, hey, can you get like four more speed on your muff? Getting I was just like, yes. No, no, I cannot. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yes, I do. I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But no, it's, and it's, uh, it's uh, you know, that's just how it is with some of the yeah. priorities from the people who are no. actually making our TW but... strategy and, uh, <laughs> I gotta do the job, man. And and you know, kudos, <laughs> kudos to the kudos to those guys. But like, and it was just it was a stretch because I was one of the low end accounts. I had like I had to really scrape for mods. So every week when we added more and more requirements, it was just like I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't got any more left. So and it was like spending like I I I was trying to do. I, I looked at the hot utils thing and I was like, mm, nah, nope, nope, not gonna do that. And then uh, it was just, it was just a struggle. And it was just like, at that point, I'm like, I don't even like doing this. Why am I still doing this? Like, I love the game. I love the community, but it's just, it's, it's, it's a second job. So was it, and I kind of brought that on myself, but it was just like, I got it. I got it. it. It's time for Is it more that the level that you played probably amplified it even more? Or even if you were playing in a more casual setup guild, do you think that you'd still feel the same way? Or is it just the intensity of... Because let's be <clears throat> let's be clear, you're playing Vanguard, you were a guild mate of mine, and obviously the other, you know a couple mm-hmm. of other guys here in chat as well. So th- they play at the top end, guys. This is tip of the spear stuff. This is like every little bit counts. It's seriously like that. And it's pretty intense. Um, but do you think that maybe playing the game style in a different way would make you feel different? Or... It wouldn't have mattered anyway. You would have just gone. You know what? That's it. Like, it, well, no. Like, I, there was, there was no way I could have went casual. It's just I've never been that guy. Like, I, I enjoyed playing the tip of the spear. It was absolutely. It's the. It's when you win, you win. You. It's. It's like. It's not. It's a feeling you're not going to get somewhere else. And uh, I. I couldn't go casual because that's just not who I am. So it was either it was a hundred percent in. Or 100 percent out. It was it was that decision, and uh, fair enough. Fair you know, enough. Chris, Christmas is coming up and family time, and it was just like I, I think that this is like the perfect time. This because I think the game's transitioning. It's 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 turning into something else for here quickly. I don't know that, but you've everyone's seen the rumors out there. I think right now is the perfect time, especially after the run we just had in TW. Mm. So like we like there's nothing left I have to accomplish in game. Yeah. So it, the, this was the perfect time just to, yep. to bow out. Well, it, it kind of comes into the next Fair. question I had was um, the biggest achievement you had in the game. Was that definitely that run? Was that the thing that you're going to remember the most now that you've hung it up? Or is there something along the way that you think, you know what, that was just the most epic thing ever? No. Like what, what stands it, out as the best thing you did while playing this game and or streaming? It can be either. Like what's the best bit? I'd, I'd say the best... <sighs> There's been, there's been so many good memories I hate because like it's like which one's the forefront of my mind right now mm-hmm. and I've had a like I could go back to the first time that we cleared H A A T in my starter mm-hmm. guild that was a good moment there's been so yeah. many great moments but like the last big one was beating Wolfpack that one was huge yeah, so was if I if there was one more thing I could have done in game it would have been beating Cop Patrol but you know you can't have everything so <laughs> you know that'll be the one thing that got away. But uh, yeah, beating Wolfpack that last time was was amazing. Fair so enough. That Fair was enough. The, the the last big one. And and what are you yeah. gonna miss? What are you gonna miss? Uh, well, I'd say that last video I put out with all of the uh, screenshots of all the the texts is it's the people. Like really, it's it's this. It's it's this is what I miss. Like, I, yeah, like playing the game. Like I caught myself. Someone asked me a question on a YouTube vid, and I pulled up 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 my phone. I was gonna pull up the game. I'm like, oh crap, I, I can't do that anymore. But it's not the time, it's not the, I still like the game. The game is is great. I, I loved it, but that wasn't what was doing it for me. It was all the people on my Discord server. It was all the people in my guild. It was just, it was the, the, the Sunday night Wookiee Roars chats. It was the, it was the people. Like the people are what makes this game. And that's what I'm going to miss the most. Fair enough. Fair enough. Can, can we, uh, I'm sorry. I don't, I mean, I'll, I'm sorry if I'm cutting all the questions, but I've got one more if I can, if you guys want to ask, yeah. um, dollar or anything by all means, but can, can we, can we talk numbers? 
because we we need to talk figures. Uh, are you happy sure. to go into that? Or, or not yep. okay so oh no so everything's on the table okay all right so dialer obviously he went back i don't know if anyone's seen or heard this but dialer <laughs> has gone back and actually done a bit of an audit on what he's actually spent on the game and uh and i'm i'm really curious because this is a number that let's be honest i'm never going to look for myself i just don't want to know <laughs> so um <laughs> so dialer where, where did you come with on the figures what did you think it was and and what did it actually come up to be i think that's that's probably what a lot of people are interested in because i think everyone's got their idea on how much they think they might have put in the game as a spender um yeah what, what was the prediction and amount <laughs> all right so the, the the one and only other time that i really meticulously sat down and like went through every line by line item was i think three years into the game and at that point i was six or eight grand in i can't remember which but uh and i hadn't looked at it since like i just kind of thought i had a rough ballpark estimate of what i was spending in the game and on my uh my weekly little state of my account things i would say that i think i've spent about 15 grand all in since day one so then i, I went back and uh pulled up my uh the bank that had my credit card at and i pulled up just uh apple spending or apple app yeah, store yeah, spending absolutely. which is pretty much yeah. just star wars galaxy heroes and it only went back to december 1st of 2019 <laughs> and it was in the last two years it was it was 13 grand just in <laughs> so the last basically two. what i thought <laughs> what i thought i had spent in six years i had actually spent in the last two oh, so oh, wow. um <laughs> i can i can go that. in it like it, it's, it's those micro microtransactions man they get you and it was funny because i would always buy something and then i would i would pay it off right away so like i've i've paid all that off it's not like i'm sitting here with a whole bunch of debt on my credit card but it's just like it kind of made me kind of it was a kind of little bit of a gut punch like how you don't realize how much that number actually is a lot higher than it actually is in your head mm. so i'd say if i'm gonna go way back if that's the first if it was eight grand in the first three years and 13 in the last two uh the, i'm missing the revenue years and those ones were those were big spending years i'm probably looking at like 25 total all in since starting fair enough 25 i think it years. was i can't remember if it was mobile gamer or db and it might have been both i can't remember but i remember they did a spending uh a video of you know tallying up like how much they've spent on swiggo and whatnot and again, I can't remember which one it was of those two. I just remember watching both of their videos, but I remember them saying, whatever you think you've spent, you might just double that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's probably true. closer to how much you spent. And uh, I remember the first time I, I tallied up how much I spent on the game was actually when Cubs asked me to be on a video uh and this was before any of my content creation or anything of the sort and he was just looking for people in different spending brackets of you know somebody who spent like you know no money whatsoever spent like maybe a thousand dollars somebody who spent like upwards of like 10 and like 50 and so on and so forth and i ballparked and i was like i think i've spent somewhere around like a you know like two thousand three thousand dollars or something like that on the game and i i've been playing since day one uh, and I tallied it all up and I was closer to like $4,000. And I was like, Oh geez. Like I thought I was closer to like two or three. Mm. And, uh, mm -hmm. I just remember that sneaking up on you, like how much, because I never buy things. I've never been somebody to like, Oh, X, Y, or Z character drop. Let me spend, you know, 700, a thousand, you know, whatever, whatever sum it is to get this character. I've never done that. I've always just been like, all right, here's ten dollars for crystals here. Here's well, that's a good deal. Here's fifty bucks, you know, or that's a good deal. Here's sixty-five dollars, you know. Like I've never bought in a character. And so for me, I was like, oh no, <laughs> that <laughs> snuck up on me. Yeah. So I totally, I totally feel that. Yeah. I totally and, feel that. And and I've only wailed on three characters. And the first one was Haldo of all people. And then, it was, <laughs> uh, then it was the the uh, Galactic Republic Y Wing, and then it was Dark Trooper. So it's not yeah. like I'm like I'm not Arnold. I'm not wailing on every character that comes out. It's just like, oh, there's these mod packs that come out. Oh, there's these Relic Nine packs that come out. Oh, there's just and it's just like you know you just buy a couple things a week and you pay it off, but you don't realize how that how much that just it just tallies up. Yeah. So here, mm -hmm. here I thought I was kind of like I th I thought I was only spending the money that I made through the game on the game, 
no, 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 no. <laughs> I was spending, I was spending way, way more. So Fair yeah, it, it is, it is what it is. So in hindsight, uh, no, no regrets. Yeah, like I was going to say, it's, it's in, just, it was, in hindsight, no regrets. It's just different? a little bit of a gut punch when it, yeah. What's that? Would you have done anything different in hindsight or like looking back no. now? No, no, no. Cause it's just like, I, I, I don't drink a lot. I don't have any drug problems. It's like, I, I'm not, I, it never hurt me financially outside the game. So like, I'm like, I was still able to do everything else. It's like, I, I, if anything, I didn't realize how much disposable income I actually have that I can spend that much without freaking realizing it. So no regrets. Yep. So yeah. now all of a sudden Dala's cashed up. So he's ready to party hard, ladies and gentlemen. That's what yeah, I'm Now all of a sudden his kids well. are having Christmas for the first time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Disneyland this year. No, we can't, oh, can't travel. That's classic. So look, let, let's move on and talk to the other guys. I'm sorry to be super rude to the other guys here, Tass and, and Fatal, of course. Thank you so much. So uh, Tass, mate, great to have you on, of course. Uh, we, we've had some fantastic stuff kicking in in the game lately, but I actually want to talk about how uh, yourself and, 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 and me have actually helped another guild doing some modding, mucking around with some workshops and stuff one-on-one during the last few weeks. It's been a lot of fun, hasn't it? It's been crazy. That's been great. I've been really enjoying that. Um, You know, that, that, that guild fallen so uh, passionate about wanting to learn more about the game. It's just a pleasure to teach them. Yeah, it's it's Pleasure been to work with them. so we've been doing just a couple of workshops, just the two of us, one on one, just with helping them with the mods, doing some modding with them, sort of one on one as well, just in video chats, recording it so they got a record of it, um, and just sort of walking them through some of the the wall counters, and and they've just been really enthusiastic with how that's been come along, hasn't it? And you can just see they've been lifting, and and the performance has just stepped up enormously too. It's been pretty cool, it's been great. Oh, I think I lost Tass. Have I? Oh, sorry. Um, I'm sorry. It, it, I, I did have a little bit of a cutout. Could That's you okay. say that again? It's all good, man. No, it's all right. I'm just saying how 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 awesome it's been that they've responded. Uh, it's been fantastic just to watch them really get enthusiastic about it all, isn't it? It's been cool. Yeah. No, they're they're eating it up, and I and I watch their chats when uh, they're working together to get ready for a TW. They're really working hard at it uh, at implementing everything, and I get DMs from a few of them occasionally just saying how much they like uh, the commentary throughout, and uh, it makes it it makes it you know more fun for them to absorb everything. So. It's nice. I'm really enjoying it. It's absolutely fantastic. It's absolutely brilliant, mate. I'm glad it's all come along pretty well. Uh, what, what's been happening? What have you been farming, Tassinix? Have you been working on any of the new characters at all by any chance? Um, you know, I'm not I'm not going after these. Um, you know, I'm just going to – I'm slow rolling these. This is going to be my next set. That's kind of what I did for most of Bad Batch mm-hmm. is I just, you know, worked them up. So I'll do pretty much the same here. Uh, I'm sitting on, like, almost – almost five Zetas, which is the most I've ever sat on without having to save up for a GL. So I have no idea what to do with myself right now, but yeah, I'm, I'm saving and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for something to really jump out of me. Like I have to go for this right now. Fair and enough. I haven't seen it yet. Yep. No, that's fair enough. Absolutely. And, and Fatal, thanks so much for, for joining us as well, mate. We, we need to talk uh, if we can. Uh, we, we've certainly got, you know, the new characters kicking in pretty hard now. Uh, we've got, obviously, Dash dropped in, but Kalkatan is looking like an absolute beast um, from what we're seeing out there, mate. What are you finding? Because I know you've been doing testing, obviously, on Kyle and also Dash, too. Uh, how are you finding it so far? Yeah, so... I think the meta is actually in a really cool kind of volatile spot right now. And I feel like, you know, I don't know if you all saw this, this throwaway line of the original, what is it? Anniversary legends announcement of like, these characters will not follow normal marquee cadence. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of mystery yeah. around that right now of like, <clears throat> my mind immediately went to like, I want to say was it was like IG 11 and Quill who like went farmable super quickly last year around BAM event time. Yeah. Yep. I want to say it. Mm. Uh, so I was kind of hoping there was something like that. And then someone on the SRH event server told me that apparently it's supposed to be that they're longer to get to farm than normal. Oh. Like, I feel like the future of this game meta wise is actually really cool and interesting. You know, I, I think we talked about <laughs> CG promises and like their idea of the meta way back when, when it felt uncertain of like, you know, we want to work on the B teams and the C teams more. And it's like, eh, okay, I'll believe when I see it. Like, when's the next GL coming? Yeah. And like, now yeah. here we are. And like, you know, they're actually like kind of delivering and things are getting pretty crazy real quickly. But also like, I think most importantly is like, even if you're not going in on Dash, even if you're not going in on Kyle, 
I think both of them are actually like pretty interesting ads at three stars. Like oh, they yeah. will get that job done still. So I like I feel like the future health of the game is at least interesting. You know, I we'll see how things happen. I still think the characters will certainly be better at seven stars, but you know, they're, they're both kind of characters that just for being there will give you good value, whether they're like three star or seven star. I like it. So, so if you had to decide between one or the other, so say you've got someone who has a little bit in the kitty and they want to go out and get some packs if they want, they want to bump one up. Your opinion, which one would you be going after if you could only decide between Dash and Kyle? And, uh, Kyle which one are you going to go after? Uh, I mean, not to be lame, but I'll say, like, of course, like, don't spend that much unless you're, like, absolutely certain you're in a good spot to do no, so. No, no, I'm not saying everyone should spend. <laughs> yeah. I'm just curious that if, <laughs> if, if someone's in but, a position uh, where they want to go after one or the other and they're not quite sure which one, which, which one would okay. you be going after in that position? So here's, I, I mean, to get a video out by tomorrow, kind of posting my impressions. Ooh. I have a real soft spot for uh, Kyle Katarn mm-hmm. right now because, so I know, like, I put out a video showing, like, oh, this team can kill Ray. At least in my opinion, if you're looking at, like, the top end meta, when are you really going to see that Ray team? And then also, for me, from how I like to play the game, I don't like my offense counters to have RNG. Or, like, I like to, like, obviously everything will have some, right? But, like, right. so... If you think about Kyle Katarn, you got to look at Hawthorne Scout because he's kind of your man for that team. Yep. And Hawthorne Scout has a whopping 40% chance to give you Terminator. <laughs> that, that, that is a coin flip that doesn't favor you, yeah. let's say. So if he's your guy, if this is like, all right, I'm going to kill Ray, we're going to go Kyle Katarn, it's going to be great. You have to be prepared for like, I can't necessarily say that like, you know, maybe you can be prepared for like, well, what if the Ray, like what if our Terminator train sucks this time? Or like, what if it ends at the wrong time? I don't know for sure that there are versions of that fight that can fail, but that makes me really uncomfortable. So, like, the whole GL killing thing is, like, it's there. It works. I'm more interested on the defense side because, for me, my soft spot is trying to make deadly C teams for a GAC defense. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, I've got, like, a growing, like, library of screenshots of, like, Mon Mothma holds, Bam holds, holds against GLs, even. Uh, I got a Mon Mothma hold against Ray, ironically, with the oh, Jesus. Nice. Wow. <clears throat> nice. Love it. So the thing that I think is really cool, though, shout out for Kyle Katarn, is so when you put Trey on defense, or, well, I give it away. As I say, when you put Mon Mothma on defense, <laughs> the thing you usually expect people to see or do is Trey, right? Yeah. Like, that's one of them. It was like the yeah. everyone assists, they kill themselves. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. The one most throwaway thing that you might think in Kyle Katarn's kit Everyone gets 50% tenacity against Sith leaders, right? Like, okay. Who cares? Right. That lets you block Treya. For just like a small <laughs> mod tweak, I have footage of it. The whole Treya team just melts. They can't hang. Oh, and, so all of a sudden it's not the go-to anymore. If Kolkatan's yeah. in that lineup, it's just not worth the risk. He really is. I think with all the new characters and all the new ideas flying around, you know, you got Bam and Dash as like potential combo teams too. I think this next 5v5 season... If you have the right ideas and you're on top of things, I think you can make some real nasty traps in your oh, defense that people like are just going to... People are going to go in, they're not going to know what's going to hit them, and they're just not going to get to play. Yeah. I mean, that, that's the thing about Moth Mothma holds is you get to wait for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just crazy. It's so cool. I, I, I think the dynamic's great. I, I really like... Uh, and, and guys, anyone can help me with this one. I really like how they're introducing characters to buff up teams you've already got. I really like that. Instead of creating yeah, new sure. factions I'll be right again, back, Jens. I'm really, really just loving that whole concept of, okay, we're going to add one more person in this team and that team. And and then the prepared mechanic, let's be honest, is probably the best example of it. Something that really none of us have used. Let's be Let's be fair. It's just been sitting there gathering dust. Now, all of a sudden, it's going to be feasible and usable, and the investments that a lot of people have made on those characters for a long, long time are finally actually able to to actually be successful and, and useful in, in some way, shape, or form. And, and I find that really refreshing. I'm not going to lie. I think that's really, really cool. Yeah, the meta is expanding in some really wild ways. I mean, for me, I think the Territory Wars board is almost starting to feel small again already because, like... I mean, you've got these new characters making new teams potentially viable, and you've got Omicrons making other teams potentially viable. And, yo, I just need like eight teams for each side. Yeah. Like, yeah, absolutely. Like, what is the Phasma, Dash, Bam, Mothma? Like, the board is getting smaller and smaller by the day. I didn't even like talk about this. <laughs> who would have thought much. that, considering the boards are bloody enormous now? Let's, like, <laughs> who would have thought that we'd even be talking yeah. at that level? I just did not think we would.
But uh, yeah. But the Omicrons are an interesting one, boys. How long before they change the name of the Omicron to something else with the new, the new <laughs> yeah. COVID strain coming out as the Omicron strain? How long before you think they're going to change that? I, I think it won't be too long. Um, if they keep it, well, they're ballsy. I'm not going to lie. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't think they really saw that one coming, did they, guys, at all? <laughs> Not one bit. Um, it's just bad luck. It is just bad luck. It's exactly that. I'm sure they've been spending yeah. months and months and months with the Omicron name sitting there ready to go, and then all of a sudden it kicks in. But, um, yeah, look, I, I mean, yeah, Ray, Ray's just a problem in general, isn't it? I mean, with, with GAC specifically, and, and, of course, Territory or anything PvP. She can just be brutal and nasty at the best of times. Uh, you can get caught out. We've all been there. We, we've certainly found ways around it now, thanks to, to obviously, you know, guys like yourselves that, that certainly have worked out, you know, decoded it and, and, you know, gotten your head around it. But it's it's certainly still not the same since, you know, they took the counters away. You know, we had the nerf and all that sort of stuff a little while ago, and it's certainly yeah. been a lot harder to find breakthroughs for those types of teams unless you've got a GL. Um I, I don't think they're going to make any changes, though, are they, to to uh, to Cole's kit? Because no, it's I, still just like, a very soft counter. I mean, I just I just can't see them making a big change there. What What do you guys think? I'm curious on your opinions. You know, I think I, people have a very cynical take when it comes to everything CG says, and like, I mean, it's on some level, fair enough, right? But CG did say like we don't plan to continue nerfing non GL counters to GLs. And I, I can't think of any exception. Okay, give me one exception. This is such a niche thing. No one will care. But uh, Geo's against Sith Eternal Emperor. They stealth nerf the AI. I don't. I literally, I barely even talked about that fight. Like, almost nothing public. I don't know why they would change this or if this was just, like, a free coincidence. They still change the AI there. That makes that a lot harder. That's, like, the only casualty I can think of since. And that, like, wasn't said publicly. I don't even know how they, they knew that that mattered. Or like, again, that's why it, like, it could have been accidental. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, that's the only one I can think of, right? Like we have new uh, non-GL counters to GLs popping up pretty frequently right now, it feels like. Yeah. And none of them have been hit, right? Yeah. Like we're just out here finding new stuff. Like I think the meta feels kind of fun again. Like yeah. no, it is. there's room it, to experiment. It, it's, it's, it's something that's, I feel like going to happen with time, but I mean, like if we can be honest with ourselves while i do think like jkl and gas and so on and so forth like should be those like badass characters that they kind of you know as they were at the same time anyone i feel like if you're going to be honest with yourself can say that they were they were kind of crossing you know some lines of how good they actually were because you went from like you know, just they were staples in any teams because they were so insanely good and they still are good. JKL is still amazing. Gas is still amazing. Watt still has a ton of uses as we're seeing, especially with Fatal down below me is saying like, or as Fatal has shown in all these videos of using Watt with Maul is just insane. In other ways that you can make these characters work, they are still extremely good characters. It's just not what a lot of us have been used to for, you know, months and years and so on and so forth. I, I kind of want to make like a tier list just to like almost like a time capsule of like here's where the meta was because I feel like one year's time from now things are going to be so different compared to like you know we have the GLs kind of like you said we have CLS gas DR and yeah. then everything else and yeah. I feel like that stuff is going to be so different in one year's time it'd be kind of cool to like I don't know take, memorialize take that somehow take a snapshot yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. I mean, like, and now that the, you know, these additions of these Omicrons and like how these characters are going to interact with one another and how they're elevating some of these characters in their respective areas based off the Omicron with, you know, territory battles, GAC, so on and so forth. But I mean, we're already seeing these other non geo counters sort of emerge between Padme's and I got Mothma and Kyle Katarn and like, they weren't necessarily fighting non geo counters as much as they were and they did say that a lot was just yeah they're trying to protect the investment of gls but they were very specifically saying like gas and jkl and watt and thrawn and vader are a little bit too good I, arguments can be made both ways of like were they too good eh. you know it was really nice for free to play players and people who didn't have gls and whatnot to like still kind of hang but those are still going to be there. It'll just, it's one of those time things. I think it's one of those time things of like, now we're starting to see these other non-GL 
encounters arise that aren't necessarily broken or not necessarily like heavily relying on, you know, just, you know, one character being insane, like gas all of a sudden hitting, you know, 400,000s and Vader's calling blading for well over a million damage. Instead of relying on that, now you have an overall team like Padme versus JMK or now Mothma and Kyle Katarn versus GL Ray that are working. So I think it's this time thing that hopefully we continue to see it. Now, that's why I say it's the time thing, because maybe they're going to change their mind all of a sudden. They're like, nope, let's nerf it all, and then I'd be pissed. Yeah. But right now we're seeing some non-GL counters arise, and I'm very interested to see, like, I mean, all of these marquee characters are leading up to Starkiller. I want to see Starkiller beat some Galactic Legends, you know? Mm. I'm really interested to see what's going to happen next. If they're still saying, yes, you can still beat Galactic Legends... You're allowed to do that, but it's going to be in a slightly different way. So I, I'm curious to see what's going to happen. It, it'd be pretty cool. It'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it'll Absolutely. it'll be interesting to see what's going on All right. there. All right, Mara Jade, boys, light side, dark side. Dala, I'll start with you. What are we going to get? Because I've got a bet with Cubs right now for an Omicron, and I want to know which way he's going to go. So Dala... For an Omicron, me... no shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, light side, dark back. side. It's I got your back, buddy. I'm going to say dark side. Heinzy all the way. Hey, Dyla, Team H, Tass, what do you reckon, bro? Light side, dark side. What are we going to get? Dark side. <laughs> Fatal, what do you reckon, brother? Are we going to get light side, dark side? This is this is against Cubs. This is big. This is big. I, We already got two light side characters, right? If we're getting four. I guess there's five, so whatever. But I'm going to say, like, out of the marquees, we've gotten two lights already, so I feel like it's got to be dark side. <laughs> we'll have some balance. Oh, 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 oh. Grid, can I, can I get a clean sweep here, or are you going to say light side? What's it going to be? Uh, I my genuine I think what's going to happen is the next two characters are going to be dark side and then star killer is going to be neutral oh that would mean Cubs is going to put an Omicron on look at guys so, you heard it first. yeah my guess is All Mara right. Jade's going to be dark side oh. I, I think the next two are going to be dark I, oh, yeah. please happen on if I can finally rip him a new one I've lost so many beds it would be amazing not going to lie uh, it would be cool uh, Grid we actually need to uh, draw a meme competition of course oh. uh, we've been holding a meme competition again this week um, so we, we need to uh, draw the winner of this one. Uh, so if I can quickly bring it up on the screen. Hang on one second, guys. Let me just get it up and running here. Uh, we, uh, we do have a meme competition up and running here. So we had our boy Hershey uh, give us a photo <laughs> of himself apparently dressed up. That I see this as a typical Friday night for our boy Hershey. I'm just saying. But he's saying it was a dress-up party. Yeah. So he's given uh -huh. us that. So we've got five finalists. The win the winner's going to give us a gridsy... They're going to get a gridsy T-shirt. Okay? So they're, they're, that's the, the photo that we were given at the start of the week. There's another one this week, and I'll show you this week's picture. Uh, we'll come back to that pretty soon. But these are these are the finalists. I need your help, Grid, to tell me which one's the winner. So the first one we've got is this one. If Auto Deploy was a person... <laughs> I think <laughs> that is absolutely Damn, <laughs> that is absolutely brilliant. I really, really like that one. That one's from uh, from Master Core. Uh, so thank you so much for that one. That's absolutely brilliant. We also have this one from Poby when she tells you she likes you as a brother. Um, <laughs> oh my god! Ooh. Now that is a tough one as well. Uh, for anyone that knows, of course, our boy Hershey does joke about that quite a lot. He lives in Kentucky. He says it himself, so we can roll with that one as a joke. Uh, the Don threw us this one. Looking for a guild. How many recruiters have seen this? Looking for a guild. Must get forty-five cam shards or not interested. Um, <laughs> that one there. Every single recruiter is crying out right now, saying, "I know a person like that." Uh, oh, yeah. So, so Donny Boy's doubled down because he gave us another one as well. A uh, bit of a chat-up line. Hey, girl, I heard you suck more than accuracy arrows. Uh, so that <laughs> one's not a bad one as well. So our boy Donny Boy's said, hey, sister. doubling down. <laughs> 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 Can't believe we went there. And the last one that we've got to pick from is this one here. If bronzium cards were a person. Uh, that's from Jibo. Oh, my God. Uh, so, uh, so that's the five that we get to pick from. Uh, so, Grid, help me out here. Do me a favor. Which one is going to get the Gritty T-shirt, brother? Which one's the winner? Talk to me. Oh, man. I am... Uh... Oh, dude, those are good. Yeah. That's that's normally... The last ones that we've done, I feel like one has very prominently stuck out as the one that I want to win. Mm -hmm. And these, there's a couple. I really like that cam shard one because that's so true. Yeah. You know, you run into these people and like, I mean, if somebody has like their 8 million or whatever GP account and they're like, no, I really want cam charge. You're like, okay. But the majority of the time, yeah, it's somebody who's like that. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. Probably can't even get a cam charge themselves. 
Yeah, yeah exactly right. Yeah. They want so them, but they that can't one's get them. really yeah. good. Um, oh, this is if auto deploy, dude. That is <laughs> that's a good one too. I, I this one's hard, man. I think I would put my vote though on. I think I'd put the vote on the. I think I'd give it to the cam shards. Cam shards, That's just Donny boy, Donny boy wins that the cam shards. I'm, I'm down to open it to a vote. But I tell you what, I think... I'll tell you what. Oh, no, no, no. Let's let's give that one. Let's give that one to Donny boy. But I tell you what, we're gonna do. I'm gonna do a captain's pick as well. I'm gonna do two because seriously, there are two that deserve it, and this is the only time we're gonna do this. Okay, I'm gonna go the auto deploy as a person. I'm gonna give one to Master Core it's... as well. Okay, because that yeah, seriously that's just... is absolutely brilliant as well. That one really tickled absolutely. my fancy. So you know what, we're gonna draw two this week. It's a one off. It's only going to be one from now on, people. Let's be clear. It's a one-off. This is not going to happen consistently, but it's damn, damn funny. So, guys, let's get to this week's one. We've got another one. It's already up in the Discord server, to this week's one. And this is the one that we're running with this week. Thanks to our friend, Deadpool Kyle, uh, is giving us one this week. Aww. DPK is giving us one. I've just got to find it. Hang on one second. Here we go, meme comp. Okay, so this is this is what we're running with this week, people. This is what we've got. We've got these ones. that are already firing out thick and fast. So this is this week's... Mean picture, thanks to our boy, Deadpool Kyle, is giving us that picture. It's already in the server. You can go there, copy, paste it, make a meme out of it. You can win a Gridsy T. Grid's going to uh, award the winner next week, straight out. So there we go. So that's that one there. Oh, goodness. <laughs> you guys, my... Uh, it's right, up, this is special, it's up and running. This is a special Gridsy set. You guys, my dad's in <laughs> <laughs> There's been some really, really, really cool entries already, let me tell you. Um, it's been absolutely hilarious <laughs> so far. So anyway, so yeah, have some fun with DPK's picture. I have asked him if it was all right to use it. He said, yeah, go for it. Have some fun with it, guys. Um, look, last last little thing we need to cover, and, and these sorts of things I really get concerned about because I've been caught out with these in the past, guys. There's certainly been a post going around with some speculation on what's coming up. Ooh, I, yes. I, don't, I don't like talking about these too much because... As I said in the past, I've I've been all in with it and, and it's just been absolute not right. It's just been not correct. So yeah. I am a bit cautious, but we need to talk about it because there's some pretty crazy stuff in there. So obviously the, the big one is certainly um, Scrapping Arena. Um, that, that's, that's something that's running around. I personally can't see that happening. I just can't because that would be a huge fundamental change in the way this game is played. I, I just I just can't see that happening. Um, there's certainly, you know, really, really interesting stuff in there as well uh, with, with Starkiller and his performance um, and, and things like that as well. But, guys, you, you've all seen the post. Let's be honest. You've all seen it. Um, let, let's start with... Um, well, Dyla, does he even give us stuff anymore? Um, just wondering. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dyla, tell us, what, what do you think? I'll, I'll go around. If I can go around the circle because I, I want everyone's opinion on the post because they've all seen it. All right. Well, there's, there's there's no way in hell Star Killer is not going to be amazing. Like, like they know well enough that that's like everybody's just going nuts over that character. If they make him crappy, they know that they're going to be creating their own dumpster fire. They're not going to do that. He's going to be he's not going to be GL tier, but he's going to be really good. Yeah. Uh, because this is their carrot or their their bone they're throwing to the community. They're not going to screw this one up. And changing arena, they're not going to get rid of crystals and arena because. The, that's far too much of a fundamental shift that changes far too much that changes the whole dynamic of the game it's it's, it's they, they don't make big huge wa sweeping changes to the game they make little tiny incremental baby step changes that's just far too far too like everyone thinks that this big break is is because they're making all these changes i think it's more of the fact that it's the holidays or uh, Omicrons are screwing up GAC somehow. I don't think they're going to make any change. I think if you guys are, 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 are we're, the community as a whole is hyping this up far more than it is actually going to be reality. Mm -hmm. But you know, keep it, keep it up. I like, I like listening to all this. So I like it. I like it. Tass, your thoughts, mate, on on the post that was going around. Do you do you think any of it's legit or is it BS? Like, what's your thoughts, mate? I'm gonna, if, I'm gonna if it's the same one that I DM you, I, I didn't yeah. see something about Arena being removed. I saw that. You would uh, the change was going to be a quality of life that you'll be uh, giving crystals based on your highest position in the past twenty four hours. Oh, there was another one as well that went around saying Arena was being scrapped. Um, that was that was the one that I saw. Um, yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, yeah. I mean, if true, that would be terrible. I mean, if they don't find some other way to 
you know, replace that income because I mean that's going to affect a lot of people. Well, they were talking about moving so. it, scrapping. Uh, if I'm correct, and tell me if I'm wrong, guys, I think it was scrapping arena and moving it, to, moving the, the crystals to GAC. That's that that's sort of along the lines of what they were saying. There were so many, I can't keep track. Yeah, of them. I know it gets that well, way. The, it gets that way. The the one the one that I saw. Um, I'll just read off what I see here. Is they're changing conquest so that there are no feats whatsoever and all you have to do is complete every mission once there's no more grind quests uh this is supposedly from some beta tester by the way mm, and yeah. then so i mentioned the tester. quality of life change for arena and then grand arena will also be getting a private match feature so you can play with your friends and finally all raids that you've uh played that feels like a billion times are going to be put on sim and cg is releasing a Death Star raid for Christmas. Oh, no, and I almost forgot that happen, the because I've been asking that coming for years. next week. They it's an incredible that. set of claims, but amazing yeah. and true. Yeah, yeah. Death Star raid, I've been asking for you years. I just can't see it happening. It would be amazing if it was, but I just, yeah. I, it's just not on the radar. They're not doing raids. They've said that straight up. So why would they release a raid now when they say they're not going to? That's just that's just not happening. Um, anyway, uh, Fatal, your, your thoughts, mate, on, on the post? Or, yeah, you know, uh, what do you think? The, the one that Tass was just talking about, I will say, I'm pretty sure that was posted as a joke to the first one. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, fair it was. Yeah. Was it? Yeah, there was yeah, an original. That was, that was <laughs> yeah. a joke to the first one. Yeah. You got taken for a ride. Uh, <laughs> I, I was taken for a ruse cruise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. No, I mean, I, it's, yeah. it's a couple of things, right? I mean, Heinesy, the very first thing you said along these lines is you fell for the same thing in the past. Yeah. Got like, how, how long has Ni Nihilus's capital ship been coming out for now? Oh. That has been like the thing that everyone keeps yes. saying since like that Sith fighter shit came out. Like, yeah. And I think the thing for me is like anytime you get these rumor posts, I feel like the way the ones that you can smell the fakes are the ones that just feel almost like a wish list. Like, yeah. it's basically like a future request in disguise of like, they want to like lure people in with stuff that sounds too good to make it more believable. Yeah. I, I don't think I really see it making sense. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think, will say, yep, sorry. uh, I agree with what Tass said that like, I star killer, like when have we ever had a character release that wasn't good? I know people say that like bam bad or whatever. He's not bad. He, it's just like, because of the old meta issues, right? There's GLs, there's gas, CLS, DR, and then everyone else. I think the idea of just like a C tier release new character was something new mm. at the time. And I think that's just become kind of more normal over time. And then now it seems like these marquees are trying to like dilute that pool. Right. Yeah. Um, I don't think I could see star killing being bad, or at least that would make no sense to me. Right. Like yeah. all this build up, all this hype for a new character. And then like, eh, and then it's just falling on its face. It's just, yeah, it's just yeah. not going to happen. The, the, you know, and even if it did, there'd be adjustments to make it better. I think if, if that was the case, but um, my look prediction for star killer, I would say is it's like, I don't know how people feel on mall, but I feel like mall and Lord Vader is debatable or more, more so like mall outside of Vader is pretty interesting. So like, if you think about like how Starkiller existed in the game, I could see him being like Empire on a lines for his user. I don't know if he would be Sith. I don't know if he technically was. I don't think so, right? He's mm -hmm. just like apprentice man. I wonder if he might just be like attached at the hip to Lord Vader. And so maybe if that leak is true, maybe they're just thinking like, uh, just being in Lord Vader is kind of lame. Mm -hmm. I, that's just spitball. Like, I don't know, but that I could see that being an angle. That's about it. I like it. I like it. Greed, your thoughts, mate, on, on that post? Or do you, what do you think? I'm, um, I need to know your thoughts, yeah, of course. I'm, I'm actually happy to nip this one in the butt. Um, so a couple of things, I'll just throw it out there real quick. Uh, we know who that is. I, the, the, the person who posted it, uh, one of his guild mates reached out to me and said, hey, by the way, this dude's just trolling. Yep, he okay. doesn't know any of this stuff. So yep. first off, we know that. A, not a beta tester. B, just a guy who's trolling. So immediately just to nip it in the butt now that's not to say because a broken clock can be you know correct twice a day he yeah. might have something in there who knows i have no idea but uh we know that this is just ultimately a troll post and somebody who doesn't know what they're talking about so yeah. just to nip that in the butt um about the actual post and any of the you know claims that are going in there i 100 percent disagree about star killer star killer is going to be awesome he's going to be a great character super powerful um, my personal hopes, which actually is a little bit counter to fatal. I hope he doesn't get attached to Lord Vader. I think he's oh, badass. I don't, I don't want him to. I'm, 
Oh, okay. Like okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. I, I hope he's his own standalone character. I think he's badass yeah. enough to be his own person, you know, do his own thing, be his own mm-hmm. team and so on and so forth. Um, getting rid of arena. That's literally stupid. Like <laughs> why that, that has been the foundational block of galaxy of heroes literally since day one. Yeah. That's yeah. dumb. Like it's so stupid even to say that. So that's absolutely ridiculous. Um, and then all this other stuff with, uh, I don't even know the other junk that was in there, but most of that, I absolutely just wrote it off. And I was like, this is, this is mostly a waste of my time. So I hope people, it, it's kind of like, when, do you guys remember when people leaked JMK? You remember that? Yep. Yeah. That dude happened to be right, but he was making a joke, right? Like he took that little figurine and was like, oh, look, it's JMK, <laughs> you know? And then he, he publicly posted and was like, Hey, my bad. That was just a joke. But then JMK ended up coming to the game. He just happened to be right. So if this dude happened to be right about anything, it's purely coincidental. This dude, I know we know who it is and he has no idea what he's talking about. So for anybody who's listening to this, for anybody in chat, for anybody watching this video afterwards on YouTube, don't stress about it. The dude is just, you know, full of malarkey. So no, at this enough. point, I just want to make a website that says days since Lavager, Ravager. Is it Ravager? What's Nihilus capital? Yeah, Ravager. 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 Yeah, okay. Ravager. Oh, that was the other thing. Yeah. Because how long have we talked about that? <laughs> days <laughs> since Ravager. Times Last that I've piece. said I want to see Ravager. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you say it's like all these people who were like when there was the leak or sorry not the leak the puzzle the puzzle was star killer yeah. you know and somebody was like i knew it was star killer it's like dude you've said that every time for every puzzle <laughs> eventually you might be right because that's the only thing you say like eventually i might be right about ravager because i say it constantly but these aren't leaks this is just some troll going out there unfortunately oh, yeah that's so. great we, we've got lady dollar joining us as well mate uh in the background lady at the Dyla. moment lady dollar's in the house <laughs> mate, see we, we're talking about you yeah can we, we we need to ask we need to ask is she happy that you're going to be around more or is she going to be absolutely you just you know you're going to drive her mad uh, how, how's she feeling about <laughs> so, you not playing the game now, being around more? They're, a, they're asking your thoughts on me quitting the game. I don't know. Oh. I can't say. <laughs> All right. There you go. She doesn't know. I, I, I like it, the money, but I like that as long as he starts helping around the house. So you told oh, you. There, you go. <laughs> told you. there it is. There it is. There it is. Spoken like there a true is. lady. <laughs> mm-hmm. It sounds exactly like Mrs. H. Exactly the same thing. It's like, yeah, get out there and do stuff anyway. If you want to play, do some work. Are you slave to the game yeah. or slave to the wife? One. <laughs> That's one or the other. Um, uh, can, can we ask her, are you going to drive Are you gonna drive her it's more mad fair. than normal? I can't hear what you guys are saying. Wait, say that again? Are you going to drive her more mad than normal? Uh, I drive her mad enough regardless. Hopefully I don't piss her off any more than I already do. <laughs> Uh, it's been great. It's been cool. Uh, guys, we're going to wind Does up. As you guys this... know, I can't hear what you're saying. <laughs> That's probably the best bit. That's <laughs> unreal. Guys, we're going to wind this one up. Hit the thumbs up, of course. Hit the subscribe button. We'll be back again next week. We record this live Friday night, 10 p.m. Eastern, every single week on Twitch. Galactic Legend Hines, you get over there. Have some fun with us. It is an absolutely brilliant time. We wait for GAC to rock back up soon. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you on the next one.